I got some new frames in the mail yesterday, and they look like this. One of the things about my vision that my glasses do correct is an astigmatism. If I don't have glasses, everything has a slight double, double vision. vision. A blurry little neighbor next to everything. Oof. Now I've made about 3 million videos illustrating the benefit of blurring a digital elevation model if you're going to make a hill shade out of it. And I have noticed that sometimes that blur introduces little double vision artifacts. Here's how to correct that. The most straightforward way I've found to blur an input digital elevation model is by using the statistics function. It takes a moving window average of the input image. In this case, I'll do a 24 by 24 pixel window. And the result is effectively a blurry version of our input digital elevation model. And we can use this as sort of a generalized terrain for our hill shade. But the shape of that moving window has a biasing effect that highlights vertical and horizontal features and it adds a grid-like artifact. We can remove that artifact by making a blur of a blur of a blur. I want to have the visual equivalent of a 24 pixel blur. But because I'll be combining blurs, my final blur number needs to be smaller than 24. I've found a good formula is two-thirds of my intended blur, applied to one half of that, applied to one half of that. This gives us about the same blurring, but without the geometric artifacts. I'll run the statistic tool again from the raster functions. This time, I'll give it the smallest value, which was four, and I'll rename this to smooth blur so I can keep them straight. And then I'm going to edit its function chain, which lets me take a look at this model builder view of these raster functions all chained together. And I'm just going to drop in two more blur doodads. That first blur was four pixels, so I'll make this next one eight pixels, and I'll make the next one 16 pixels. And then I'll just chain these three blurs together so you get a nice blurry blur. And then I'll drop in the hill shade and connect it all up and see what we get. What we get is a generalized hill shade without any of the artifacts of the blurring function. And what do you do with a generalized hillshade? I'll put some links in the description to examples of why hillshading with generalized elevation models can be way, way better. Thanks, Chicky.